Hey there, I am here in the kitchen today to show you how to make raw milk yogurt. This is a very fast, very easy, very simple recipe, and I'm also going to give you instructions for how to make it in a non-raw pasteurized form. So let's get started. There are a few things you're gonna need for this process. So longer ago, women didn't have thermometers to gauge the temperature of their milk. They would just feel with their hands and they just knew because that was a skill that was passed down. But today we have thermometers. So I have this little handy dandy one. You can kind of hook over the edge of your pot. You can gauge your temperatures of your milk with this. The next thing you're gonna need is milk. Now this is a locally produced, um, it's an organic milk that has been pasteurized. So you can do it with pasteurized milk as well. Maybe stay away from ultra pasteurized, but you're gonna need milk. And then you're gonna need a yogurt that has live bacteria cultures in it. And you can just go and read the ingredient labels and it should just say active bacteria cultures. And if it does, go for it. I use a variety of brands. I don't have one to recommend over the other. So that's what you're gonna need. And then you're gonna need a stock pot and you're gonna need a cooler. And I will explain to you in a little bit why you need that. All right, so let's get started into the process. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our container of milk and we're just gonna pour it all into our pot. This is a half gallon jar. And once that's in, we're just going to turn our burner up to a medium-ish range. We're gonna get our little thermometer in there and then we are going to watch and wait. You want to be very, very careful in heating up your milk. Do not turn your burner up to high. You might burn the milk on the bottom, or if you're not watching it really carefully, you can overheat it really easily. Now, if, if you are trying to do a raw milk yogurt, you want to heat the milk to about 110 degrees. That's actually not very warm in cooking terms, right? Like that's you dip your hand in and it's like lukewarm, okay? So 110 degrees. If you are pasteurizing your milk and you're worried about, you know, working with raw milk, you're going to want to heat your milk in your pot to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So raw milk is 110. Pasteurized milk or pasteurized yogurt is gonna need about 200 degrees. I'm showing you the raw method right now, so we're gonna go with 110 degrees. And it is, while it's warming up, we are going to um, prep some jars and we're actually gonna get the cooler ready as well. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. So because it's just my man and I, and we're just working with a half gallon of milk, I'm gonna use little, um, these are pint or 500 ml jars. And I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna wash some up while my milk is very slowly warming. We're gonna get these clean and ready to go and then we'll tackle the cooler. So, let me do some washing. All right, our milk is up to temperature pretty much. That took maybe 15 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead, turn our burner off, and we are ready to step into filling jars. Time to fill our jars with some of our yogurt starters. So I'm gonna measure one to two tablespoons into each little jar. Two tablespoons is plenty, but it's got the culture starter and it will get things going. So let's fill that up. Then we're gonna bring the milk over and we're just gonna measure it in, leave a tiny bit of head space 
in each jar and then we're gonna pop them into the cooler. Now here I'm just stirring in the yogurt to make sure it's well dissolved. Um, that's just the goal here, so just use a fork and swish it around until no clumps come up and then you're done. Now we're just going to put water, warm water into our cooler and I'm going to go for about mm, probably 130 degree water in there just because it's going to cool down over time and then we're going to put our jars into it and let the warmth of the cooler and the water kind of inoculate and activate the good bacteria in these and we're going to let them sit until evening and when it's done we'll have yogurt. So let's fill up that cooler right now and get these in before they cool down too much. You don't want so much liquid in here that your jars float. You want it to come a couple inches within the top of your jar is ideal. So to this I might actually have to add, well no, that's actually pretty good. So the water's coming about up to, whoop, up to here on the jar. You can do a little more but you don't want your jars floating. So I'm just going to put a lid on that and I'm going to put it on the floor by the fire or else in a warm spot in my home and we're good. You can make yogurt in any size of jar you want. Now because it's just the two of us, I make it in these little pint or 500 ml jars, but I have made it in half gallon jars. It really doesn't matter how much milk you have. What matters is that you keep it warm. So you can do that in the cooler like I did it. You can put it in your oven and just turn on the light and the light will provide that extra warmth over time. I've done that before. Some people make yogurt in their crock pot, in their Instapot. Some people just pour their bacteria culture and their milk into a jar and wrap it in several layers of towel and leave it in a warm spot in their home and the bacteria will still inoculate and things will still turn out. You'll still have a yogurt. So it's really up to your preference. The key is just to keep it warm so that bacteria can go into action. Now, with the raw milk yogurt, it's gonna be a thinner substance than let's say a Greek yogurt, and it's not gonna be as tangy. So your pasteurized yogurts, they tend to be thicker and they tend to be tangier. And if you want a raw milk yogurt, but you want it to be thick, you can buy gelatin powders as well that you can stir in that will help with that. 
but we're gonna let a yogurt sit for about 12, you can leave it for 24 hours if you want, but we're gonna let it sit until this evening. We're gonna pull it out and then we're, uh, I'll show you the next morning what we've got. Here we are the morning after and I want to show you our raw milk yogurt. Now I pulled this out last night and just let it sit on the countertop, but this is the finished substance when you use the raw method, which doesn't use as much heat. It's actually a fairly liquidy like runny yogurt, but we actually really like it this way. Now, if you prefer something a little thicker, you can get different bacteria culture starters that will help make a thicker yogurt. And doing the pasteurized method usually results in a little bit thicker yogurt as well. But we're really happy with this. We'll use it in granola, our morning porridge and smoothies. And uh, it's a great fermented food to have on hand. So folks, that is how you make yogurt in your own kitchen. I gave you directions for pasteurized yogurt and for a raw milk yogurt. And now I'm going to go put this in the fridge and we will use it up over the next couple weeks. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you on that. Until next Wednesday, see you later.